So this world, the world which awaits the students of this school today, is a radically different world. It will be a world of AI. It will be a world of tech. It will be a world of drones. It will be a world of space. It will be a world of electric mobility, of green hydrogen. It will be dramatically different from everything we know. I know that every generation says that, but this time, believe me, it is the, the scale of change, the intensity of change, the impact of it on our lives is going to be profoundly different from anything that we know, possibly anything that we can even imagine. So my uh, advice here is, as you go through school, develop an interest in the world. And an interest in the world can, doesn't need to be taught formally in school. We, we got uh, interested in the world through music, through books, through movies. Uh, there wasn't the smartphone and the internet those days. But uh, today the ability to connect to the world is so much more that it is something uh, our, the generations which will come, I think they will really define the country by their ability to globalize, by their ability to actually fully take advantage of the opportunities the world has to offer and meet the challenges also that the world presents. The third message I have is really enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself to discover yourself. Because the truth is when we are in school, at least when I was in school, all of us, we don't necessarily have a good sense of our aptitude. We don't always know what we want to do. It is, there's nothing, I mean, that's quite normal. And what school does in a way is it broadens us out, it expands our knowledge. There's a lot of learning we pick up in school outside class as well. And that, I think, the, when we come out of school, that broader perspective that we have picked up. We have picked up in the classroom, we have picked up outside the classroom. And again, some of it is knowledge, but some of it is all, are also other habits. I mean, uh, we are today very ardent propagators of Fit India and Kelo India. These are also habits you pick up in school. And I can tell you, if there is one important lifestyle advice I would give you, stay fit. That fitness is not just a, you know, it's not just a bodily condition. Your work performance, your alertness, your even your happiness, in a way, comes out of fitness. I mean, I say this to you as perhaps among, I would say, the most experienced person in the room, uh, among. Uh, but, to, you know, if you can stay fit, if you can play sports, if you can keep your competitive instincts going, there is a lot of good lot of gain that comes from it. I mean, if today in my routine I can get off a plane and get to work and carry on with a 14-hour day, a large part of it is because I make an effort to be physically fit. And particularly if you play some kind of competitive sports, I don't recommend it to everybody, but there's really nothing like a good game of squash to start your day. So I, I would say that sense of enjoy the school, pick up every, all the possibilities they are, and discover yourself through that. That is something which uh, certainly is an advice. And my fourth advice, I, I very much admire the people, you know, it was a great honor to be invited to give the trophies and uh, the recognition for the really brilliant students of the school. And in every peer group, you admire people who do well. 
they, they set standards, they inspire others. Uh, you learn so much from them. But I also want to make a contrary point. I was presented with a photograph of my passing out, this was the passing out picture. I was in the last row, okay, trying to be as inconspicuous as possible. So I want to tell you all, there's a, also a view from the last row that, you know, not everybody is brilliant at everything every day. And they don't need to have an issue with that. That, uh, again, as I said, you know, this process of learning, of discovering yourself, it will come with the passage of time. It may not come entirely in school, but school is the foundation on which it is built. Uh, but through the journey of life, we do discover our strengths. Uh, we do, uh, I, I would say, those of us who can follow our passion and make a passion into a profession are very fortunate because then we we intuitively, we very naturally excel at, at what we do. But the message which I do want to leave to all students of the school is these are your foundational years. Uh, these are years you don't have to be absolutely certain what you are going to do in life. You are going to go through this passage, picking up things, sometimes absorbing it, through, through osmosis without knowing even what it is you are learning. But you absorb it, you learn from it, you remember it, uh, and it certainly, this is really the foundation on which you as a person are built. So I say this really not as a formality, not as a platitude. All of us perhaps owe the school more than we owe any other institution or any other body in our life, other than maybe our immediate family, sometimes maybe more than our immediate family. That what we are, uh, as I said, without sometimes even that self-awareness, is because of the habits, because of the atmosphere, the ethos of the school. It is what we pick up here. Uh, it is these formative experiences which make us uh, what we are. And uh, I'm really today delighted to see so many of you. Uh, I mean, I've always had uh, the, the uh, belief that this school particularly was always a very tight uh, fraternity. I can see uh, that uh, uh, before my very eyes. Once again, I want to say it for me, a great privilege, a great honor to come back to the school, to indulge in that nostalgia, to have you all here listen to me. Once again, I wish the school, I wish the students, I wish the teachers, the alumni, all the very best. Thank you very much.